Hello and a very warm welcome to all our viewers. You're watching the morning news show on CNN News 18 and I'm Sakshi Singh Latoria here to walk you through all the latest news and headlines from the nation and across the globe over the next 60 minutes. At the top of this segment, we are talking about the political chaos that erupted in the state of Jharkhand. It's a day of legal challenges for the former chief minister of Jharkhand, Heman Sorin, after he was arrested by the ED in the Landscam case. All eyes are on the apex court today as Sorin's plea challenging the legality of the arrest will be heard. Jharkhand High Court will also hear Sorin's plea challenging his custody today as well. Meanwhile, the political chaos in Jharkhand also seems to be escalating even further. The new chief minister designate Champai Sorin has been invited to take oath as Jharkhand chief minister. Flow test to take uh, place in the next 10 days. Meanwhile, JMM MLAs boarded a chartered plane in Hyderabad yesterday which could not take off due to poor visibility in the area. BJP MLAs are also expected to get into a huddle. आज मुझे एडी गिरफ्तार करने आई है दिन भर हमसे पूछताछ करने के बाद समय बिताने के बाद सुनील ढंग से मुझे गिरफ्तार करने का उन लोगों ने फैसला सुनाया और किस विषय पर ऐसे विषय पर जो चीजें मुझसे जुड़ी ही नहीं मैं कोर्ट के निर्णय पर बिल्कुल सर्वमान्य के साथ उसका सम्मान करता हूं आज एक लोकप्रिय सरकार एक आदिवासी अपने ताकत के बल पर जीतकर सरकार बनाकर राज्य की जनता का सेवा कर रहा था आज लगता है यह वक्त अब मेरे लिए खत्म हो रहा है And since we are talking about the political fiasco that broke out in the state of Jharkhand, we have some breaking news coming in as far as the oath ceremony of the new chief minister designate is concerned. We are learning that the oath ceremony of Ch uh, Chamai Soren is likely to take place today at 12 p.m. Champai will become the 12th chief minister of Jharkhand in the last 24 years. All the 43 MLAs are still present in Rachi Circuit House is what we are learning. We'll bring you more details as far as the oath-taking ceremony of the new Chief Minister designate Champai Sorin is concerned. But the oath-taking ceremony is likely to take place today itself at 12 p.m. And he will become the 12th Chief Minister of Jharkhand in last 24 years is what we are learning. And all the 43 MLAs are still present in Rachi Circuit House. We are CNN News 18, Saurabh Rathor joining us on the phone line. Saurabh, a very good morning to you. Please bring us all all the details about these 43 MLAs that are currently in Rachi as well as the oath taking ceremony that is slated to happen at 12 p.m. today. See, uh, Champai Surin has claimed that he has the support of 47 MLAs and 43 MLAs uh, are already present in the Rachi circuit house. Uh, remember, the, uh, the uh, magic number is 41, so uh, 43 MLAs are already present. So he was uh, trying to take time from the governor uh, right from day before yesterday. The, the first uh, meeting that took place was uh, yesterday, uh, day before yesterday evening when he handed over the support of, uh, letter of support of uh, 43 MLAs and uh, tomorrow also uh, Champai Sorin, along with four others uh, uh, members of the allied parties uh, went uh, to the governor house showed him the video of MLA's parading uh, all the 43 MLA's parading and then uh, governor was convinced that yes uh, he has the majority and so uh, the governor called Champai Sorin uh, at his residence at around 11 15 uh, Champai Sorin along with uh, Congress Minister Alamgir Alam went inside the governor house to take time for the oath and the governor agreed and said that uh, yes uh, uh, you can uh, claim your majority tomorrow and take oath at at around uh, 12 p.m. So at 12 p.m. we might see uh, Champai Surin along with his, uh, uh, you know, uh, the leaders of uh, UPA government can go in the uh, in the in the governor house to take oath. This is what we are learning. On the other hand, uh, I would like to say that uh, Heman Surin had spent a night in jail in Hotwar Jail in Ranchi after the, uh, judicial custody was given. Uh, by the PMLA court in Ranchi, uh, although ED was seeking for uh, a 10 day custody, uh, but uh, the, the PMLA court has reserved its order, and today also the argument will take place, and most probably in the 
uh, by by evening uh, we will come to know whether the ed will get uh, the custody of heman suren or not meanwhile we are also learning that the petition is filed uh, and uh, in the supreme court and the hearing is at 10:30 so all eyes are on the apex court because uh, uh, heman suren's advocates uh, particularly kapil sibal will be representing heman suren and he will be uh, arguing that the arrest that was made by uh, the enforcement directorate was uh, invalid so uh, all eyes on on uh, the apex court right now but uh, on the uh, as far as the government is concerned champai soren will become the 12th chief minister of jharkhand in uh, 23 years remember the jharkhand was uh, partitioned from bihar in november to 2000 so in 23 years jharkhand has uh, seen uh, 11 uh, chief ministers uh, so far but uh, uh, particularly if persons are concerned uh, the uh, uh, champai soren will be the seventh uh, person to become the chief minister so earlier also we had seen uh, arjun Min munda shibu soren taking oath for three times each heman soren has already uh, been the cm for uh, two times and uh, madhu kora or uh, raghubar das arjun munda uh, and these all leaders have uh, uh, become uh, the chief minister of uh, one time each so champai soren will be taking oath as uh, the 12th chief minister of jharkhand this time and it is uh, 12 pm what we are expecting that the oath ceremony will take place uh, we don't know whether uh, any new cabinet minister or, or the minister will take oath or not but certainly uh, the time has been given by uh, the governor of uh, for jharkhand uh, to champai soren to take oath uh, this is the latest piece of information that we are bringing to our viewers right so abhin there is a lot of confusion as far as the political fiasco in jharkhand is concerned what's the mood like there on the ground as far as the reactions from the people is concerned because there is this is another chief minister who has been detained amidst his tenure as a chief minister of the state jharkhand has a history as you just mentioned could you walk us through the reaction from the ground as far as the people and their concerns related to their chief minister is concerned see yes uh, people are upset over there because uh, heman soren was a popular leader in the state he is uh, he comes from a tri uh, tribal community and jharkhand is also a tribal state uh, so the uh, faction of uh, jmm led upa government the supporters over there they were uh, you know not expecting that heman soren will be uh, arrested by enforcement directorate and they claim that it is because uh, heman soren is a tribal uh, many leaders of uh, this upa government claims that uh, the central government is anti tribals and he the government doesn't want uh, uh, you know the the chief minister a uh, tribal chief minister to become a chi, uh, you know a chief minister so uh, the people had uh, already registered their protest uh, uh, you know of uh, 3 days back uh, through a uh, akrosh march where they tried to uh, ghero out the raj bhavan uh, chief minister house and it's office in rachi lakhs of people came from different districts of jharkhand then section 144 was imposed by the administration after the intervention of uh, governor when he had summoned a uh, chief secretary and uh, you know the dgp of the state and and took it very seriously and ordered them to uh, control the law and order situation and after that uh, the sdm rachi had imposed 144 uh, section 144 at uh, several places particularly all these uh, cm house raj bhavan and ed office and uh, for past two days we are not seeing any kind of law and order situation but uh, uh, people had already gathered uh, at uh, the mora the ground in rachi and they were waiting uh, for, for to march but uh, the administration uh, did not let them uh, go anywhere and the situation was controlled uh, the security was beefed up everywhere uh, more than 150 uh, magistrates were uh, deployed at several places in rachi traffic management traffic management was done and uh, you know the security at even at court outside ed's office was beefed up barricade barricading was done uh, the dsps were called and uh, paramilitary forces were called uh, so that that uh, there is no uh, you know we uh, we don't see any kind of uh, law and order situation so in a way the administration has somehow managed to uh, control uh, any untoward incident uh, uh, you know uh, because the people were ca carrying lathis and bow and arrows and other traditional weapons and uh, this is the usual kind of protest that uh, is witnessed in the state of uh, jharkhand which is a tribal state so tribals from interiors of uh, jharkhand they come with the uh, traditional weapons but uh, for Right. Uh, the uh, law and order situation was controlled by uh, the administration, and uh, nothing untoward happened. 